What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to land a plane in Battlefield 1. So the difference in Battlefield 1 to other Battlefield games is that the planes are not on the ground, you don't go to them and take off. When you choose them from the spawn up menu, you simply are spawned up already flying the plane. And if your plane gets shot up at all, you just repair it in midair, you don't need to land and use a blowtorch on it like you did in prior games. However, they may, maybe in the future, add runways and add the ability to land and take off with planes that just spawn on runways, but for now you just spawn in midair. However, I do have a technique to land your plane safely, and I'm going to show it to you guys today. So I am going to take credit for finding this on my own. I'm sure other people have probably figured this out too, but I didn't see this on anybody else's channels. I didn't really look that much. I was kind of just messing around with the game, and I noticed a way to safely land my plane. So to start, you guys will obviously need a plane. I usually use the slower ones because I find that these work better for this. And you're going to also need to find a somewhat flat area. It can have some hills, but just try to find an area that doesn't have buildings. And you're just going to try to slow down your plane while slowly descending. And you're going to slow down your plane using the thumbstick and holding back on the thumbstick. And what you're basically going to do is when you're maybe about 10 to 20 feet off the ground, you're just going to hold down the button to get out of the plane and let the plane kind of bounce off the ground. I would suggest doing it in third person, that way you can see a lot better. And you don't need to worry about deploying landing gear. These old fashioned planes always have the wheels down at all times. Now you do need to make sure that you land the plane inside the zone where you're able to stand. If you land it inside that zone where it says return to the battlefield, the plane will just explode. And you obviously can't do a nose dive. You do have to kind of angle your plane just right so that it kind of bounces off the ground but it doesn't explode right away. Just try to do it like I did in the video and you should be okay. Now this can be a little tricky because there are some things that can go wrong here. If you angle it too straight, too parallel to the ground, it'll just end up going far, far away from you as I'm going to show you guys right here in a moment. But once you land the plane, you are able to get back inside of it and take off as long as there's not like a hill or a building in front of you. Sometimes you might get caught up in some rocks too and it'll just kind of randomly blow up. And I do have a clip I'm going to show you guys in a moment where my plane, when I got out of it, it just kept going across the map and it didn't stop for some reason. That will happen to you too sometimes. But right here when I got inside the plane to take off, my wing was kind of sitting on a hill so I just ended up blowing up. Now, what you guys will notice about the planes in Battlefield 1 is that the engine is always on. There's no way to stop the engine unless you maybe get inside the gunner seat. You might be able to do it this way too, but I've always just done it by getting out of the plane altogether. But because those propellers in that engine always come on when somebody's in the plane, when you get back in it after landing it, it will just take off right away or attempt to take off. You won't be able to just sit there and idle on the ground. But anyways guys, that's going to wrap up my guide on how to land a plane in Battlefield 1. If you guys found this video helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing Battlefield 1 videos. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.